realised each of you personally first get into music? Was it something that were you, like, as little boys running around banging saucepans and singing and uh, annoying parents? I was, yeah, I was, I was at school, and like, well, my first, my first school when I was about you know, like eleven, I had a. Uh, we had a music lesson, my first ever music lesson. I, I, I wasn't really interested. My dad played guitar and sings and that. Um, and uh, they just passed around a list about, um, with all different instruments on them. They, you had to put your name under which one you wanted to learn. So I put drums. Did you? Magic. <laughs> oh, you picked the right one. I did yeah. recorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the funniest thing happened though, some, some uh, guy in my class um, chose double bass, thinking it was a drum. Really? And he went to the lesson, he was like, what's that? <laughs> I think he, yeah, he didn't like it, I think he cried. I um I used to I, I played violin and um I do you know Nigel Kennedy? He, he's like he's got spiky hair and like I just thought he did the four seasons and I saw a photo of him and I thought he had really cool hair. So like I just started playing the violin <laughs> and that's how it all kicked off. Um yeah personally like my dad he's always sort of been playing in bands and stuff in clubs and that. Um and because he was massive into it, I sort of rebelled against music at first and sort of wanted to be a professional footballer and stuff like that. Um, and then I got more into it at sort of 11. I used to sort of play acoustic guitar in between my dad sort of having an interval in his gigs and stuff like that, and that's how I really sort of got into it. Yeah. Do you remember the first album you bought? Um, Mine's probably something awfully cheesy. I actually think mine <laughs> was... Uh, was like, yeah, always <laughs> mine was... I think it was Nirvana, never mind. Mine's probably, uh, like, okay. mine's probably like now 21 or something. Yeah, awful. I think mine could have been the Spice Girls one. Are you 17? Yeah. Yeah, someone's told the truth. Yeah. <laughs> it's not cool, I know. I'm, I'm the poppest person here, I, I listen to it. Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. On, on tour, he bought, what's it called? Oh, uh, yeah, on the way back, on the van on the way back, we, the radio was, didn't work. And um and the DVD player was broken, so all we had was a chance on CD. I went back to Glasgow, I went to the Shopping. service station. I wanted to buy a CD that would annoy everyone, so I bought something awful. It was like a, com- like, compilation it was a compilation, absolutely. Like, really and it had like wheatus and no. like uh, proper cheese on. As soon as it came out, everyone was like, "No!" Yeah. I, I can't believe Zach got the, the most annoying person in the tour. Yeah, man. Right. <laughs> that's, like that. that's not annoying. Maybe we'll come to realise it's actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they, put my, they wanted my iPod on once, and uh, I was like, "Hey, don't!" And they were like, "Yeah, come on!" So I was like, "No, you don't want it." I gave it to them, and uh, yeah, they were surprised. <laughs> and, uh, we call it the iPod now. <laughs> iPod. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, we're getting some truth out of you. It's great. Yeah. Maybe you'll have to do a cover. We've had a cover at Unis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spice yeah, yeah. Girls. What? Like, <laughs> see, uh, DJ Sammy would be a good one. Like, you know. Do it. Yeah, you've always said that. Yeah. Um, boy, was it the Boys of Summer? Boys of Summer. What's it like? Camp? No. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What Brian Adams? Yeah, that's it. Maybe for the oh, you're not doing a Valentine's gig. Are you? Um, what are you doing for Valentine's um, Day, guys? Are you? Uh, we're all going out for a candlelit dinner yeah. all yeah. together. Oh, that's three cool. cents of gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Um, we just, like Josh, Josh, baby. Josh will be seeing his girlfriend, but I'm. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was planning to get drunk with you guys, but obviously <laughs> not anymore. I'm, you'll get drunk with me. <laughs> yeah, okay. We get, get, get drunk and then call Zach up and just tell him how much fun he's been. Yeah. <laughs> We're bonding yeah. with candles. Yeah. Um, what tune gets you dancing every time? Um, um, secret handshake. Do you know a secret handshake? Yeah. Uh, we did some gigs with him in like, the summer of 98. It's a wicked song for me. Macarena? Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or Saturday Night by Wigfield. Yeah. Do you know what the dance Yeah. Well, I have been known to bust them out now and again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like a bit of Faithless. Faithless. That's a, that's, that's a classic oh, that's dance. A um, if you weren't in a band, what do you think you'd be doing now? Um, um, <coughs> I was a keen cricketer at school. Um, maybe cricket. I don't know, I'd, I'd like to be doing something with it. Like, well, I'll try producing, do you know what I mean? I like all that side of it and stuff. I've thought about it myself and I think there's nothing really I'm good at or anything and I think I'll just be extremely depressed or dead or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I, I, I would have wanted to do something to do with sport because I played like all the sports when I was at school and I wasn't amazing at them but that was one thing but I think that's every kid's dream is to play football yeah. or you know, be famous at a sport. But.